Hello and welcome to this edition of Able Dinner on Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Siler. Arlene is not here today. She is recuperating in, uh, in the rehab center from a diabetic amputation. Uh, we would like to, um, you know, first point out on this edition of Able Dinner on Air that this is the second part of an Israel uh, series that we have done on what's going on in Israel and uh, with people with special needs and the war. And uh, I'm going to start off by reading uh, my commentary for this. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able and On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. Hello, viewers of Ableton On Air. For 30 years, I have been a journalist, despite the challenges that I've always managed to persevere. I don't, <clears throat> I don't like to see suffering uh, of anyone. War is never good. People get seriously hurt. My wife and I, my wife Arlene and I have joined together as well as the Able and On Air team to eradicate all terrorism. It must be eradicated and we must bring these perpetrators in Israel, uh, we must bring Hamas and these perpetrators of evil to justice. Getting rid of a whole race doesn't solve anything. It makes it worse and worse, and makes the problem worse and worse. Being Jewish and proud makes us stronger than ever. Terrorism is an act of cowardice, and killing children, hurting elderly, and the disabled, and more vulnerable populations doesn't solve anything. It's sometimes hard to be Jewish and challenged, but between you and me, there are prejudices for both, and it's sometimes a double-edged sword. If we stand together as one, we can accomplish more than you think. We at Able Dinner on Air 
will always stand for Israel and with Israel to make a common goal where we can live together in peace. Um, that's easier said than done. Uh, uh, you know, there have been war atrocities all throughout history in, uh, in America and even overseas. Um, the Spanish-American War, the Civil War, uh, war started uh, back in, in the Middle East um, when the Middle East was being formed. Um, uh, example, uh, in, the, in the Bible itself, uh, um, King Herod of Antipas, King Herod of Antipas uh, wanted um, babies killed under two years old. So, you know, all throughout biblical history, this has been happening. We need to stop the madness and figure a way to get together, to work together for a common goal. This cannot happen uh, anymore. Too many families are uh, passing away. Too many people are losing their house. Um, you know, uh, too many people are uh, running scared because missiles are um, uh, missiles on both sides, uh, but but missiles are uh, you know firing at people. We just need to figure a way to live in peace, um, and we hope and pray that Israel um, or you know that we figure a way as a global community to work together. We must do this. Um, and, um, you know, people with special needs are passing away. Services are being uh, uh, not given because of uh, what's going on. Um, you know, services are being given, but, uh, you know, people need food. Uh, the bread lines are forming. This madness needs to stop uh, during war. And we just need to come together to have common ground. Um, now, uh, let's take a look at um, um, uh, let's take a look at the 2023 Israel Hamas war. Um, numbers have been climbing, but I'll give that a little bit later on in, in this uh, show. Um, during the ongoing conflict between Hamas and the Palestinian militant groups and Israel, uh, Israel military forces began on the 7th of October, 2023, on the morning of Shemini um, 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 Azret, which is a Jewish holiday, 50 years after the start of the 1973 Yom Kippur War. Hamas's coordinated surprise offensive, uh, codenamed uh, code Al Al-Sad Flood, uh, began on the morning of on the morning barrage. At least 5,000 rockets launched from the Gaza Strip against Israel, uh, while. Some 2,500 Palestinian militants breached the Gaza-Israel border um, and massacred <clears throat> to set fire to civilian communities and attacked the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, military bases near the Gaza Strip. Over 1,400 uh, at that time Israel, Israelis, mostly civilians, were killed. 260 people was, were at a music festival in, in Reim, and 200 people, um, 200 people, unarmed civilian hostages, were captured. Uh, Israel forces were taken to Gaza Strip. Israel military forces began conducting 
uh, relatory strikes before the Israel government forming declare, declaring war uh, on Hamas later that day. The 2023 war uh, is the fiercest since the Yom Kippur War, and it is part of the Israeli Palestinian conflict, uh, which started originally on May 1948, and um, which in 2005 saw most of the military exhaustions taking place. Um, not too far, uh, taking place uh, not too far from the Gaza Strip. Hamas had been uh, the ruling party of the Gaza Strip since 2007, avoiding major engagements with Israel uh, in 2022 and in most of 2023. However, in 2023, before the offensive started, an uptick in Israel uh, in Israeli-Palestinian violence saw at least 247 Palestinians, 32 Israelis, and two for, um, two foreigners, Israeli Palest uh, killed. <clears throat> Some sources say. Uh, Hamas uh, uh, covertly prepared for a major offensive. Despite suspicions, um, despi despite suspicions of Iranian involvement, both Israel and the U.S. stated that there is no concrete evidence of. Iran's involvement, and Iran has denied the role in Hamas attack. Hamas stated their attack was in response of the um, uh, in response to the desecration of the Al Aji Mosque and Aj Mosque and a blockade of the Gaza Strip. Uh, continued Israeli settlements and Israeli settler violence. After clearing Hamas forces from the southern from southern Israel, the IDF constructed airstrikes in the Gaza Strip, which killed over six thousand Palestinians. The number has climbed. Uh, uh, According to Hamas-run health ministry, fears of a humanitarian crisis were heightened, and Israel cut off food, uh, after Israel cut off food, electricity, and fuel supplies to Gaza. Um, and it has been blockaded by both Egypt and Israel. Um, Israel urged 1.1 1, 1 million Gazans to evacuate northern um, Gaza, where Hamas called uh, residents to stay in their homes and block roads leading south. The United Nations reported around 1 million Palestinians uh, yeah, one minute, one, got, uh, hold on, one million, um, one, mil one million Palestinians, nearly half of the Gaza Strip's population, has been internally displaced. The United Nations and many countries called for immediate ceasefire. Human rights groups called for the intake of Gazan refugees um, caused by war. There has been a widespread killing of civilians and a panel of United Nations special, special reporters among 
human rights groups that have accused both Israel and Hamas of, <clears throat> of war crimes. At least 44 nations, nearly um, Western, denounced Hamas and explicitly and explicitly condemned its um, conduct of terrorism and joint statement of the United States. The United Kingdom, France, Italy, and Germany, um, in contrast, uh, countries across the Middle East called for uh, a de-escalation. And de-escalation and, um, and decried and, and decreased um, Israel's decade-long occupations of the Palestinian, uh, Palestinian territories as <clears throat> a root cause, including a joint statement by United Arab Emirates, Jordan, um, Jordan Bahrain, Saudi Arabians, Oman, uh, Oman Qatar, uh, Kuwait, Egypt, and Morocco. Iran warned Israel um, immediately to stop all military um, all military things against uh, Gaza, saying that its allies would inflict a huge earthquake by opening new fronts and threatening to intervene the Israeli military um, launched a ground invasion of Gaza. Um, for more information, on this, you can go to www.wikipedia.org um, forward slash wiki 2023 Israel Hamas War. Um, and let's go to the casualties. Uh, The current casualties of the war. The total now is seven thousand twenty eight Palestinians, including two thousand. 913 minors, according to the ministry. The ministry is the only official source of Gaza casualties. Israel has sealed Gaza's borders, foreign, um, barring foreign journalists and humanitarian workers. Um, so, according to the Associated Press, um, they have a death toll here, and uh, okay, here we go. Israel's Hamas war upends years of conventional wisdom. Leaders give few details on what's coming next. Um, Palestinians plead to stop the bombs at UN meeting, but Israel insists Hamas must be obli ob ob obliterated. The ministry is the only official source of, Ga of Gaza casualties. Israel has sealed Gaza's borders, barring foreign journalists and humanitarian workers. The uh, Associated Press is among a small number of international news <clears throat> organizations for those uh, while those journalists cannot do a comprehensive count we've 
uh, we viewed large, uh, large numbers of bodies at the sites of airstrikes, mosques, and funerals. Let me go here. Hold on. Uh, let me just get it. Okay. October 26, 2023, um, which was yesterday, according to um, CNN, according to CNN, according to CNN, uh, According to CNN, there's Israel War News. Um, um, things are things are not great. Uh, Israel's military has carried out a targeted raid overnight over northern Gaza using tanks. Uh, the, the move came hours. After um, after uh, President Netanyahu said Israel was preparing uh, for a ground offensive following a deadly um, November seventh Hamas attack, the main United United Nations uh, aiding Palestinians on Wednesday. <clears throat> it said that they have to halt operations within a day of fuel that's not delivered, uh, saying that it would mark the end of lifeline for civilians. Um, pressure is building on the international uh, on pressure is building on the uh, international community to get Israel to allow desperately needed aid into Gaza, with more countries advocating for humanitarian pause in, in fighting new, uh, new satellite images, revealed the devastation wrought by Israel's bombs. Um, Israel forces have been uh, say they have killed the deputy head of Hamas intelligence uh, uh, directorate and uh, say that <clears throat> this is particularly responsible for planning attacks last month. Uh, for more information on how to, uh, it gives right here, on how to help uh, with humanitarian aid, um, Give, okay, according to CNN, it says how to help with humanitarian aid. Um, uh, it says you, you can give to several uh, websites. Um, and according to CNN's website, you can, um, there's several nonprofits According to this website that you can give to, you just have to choose which one. Um, according to CNN, a deadly fighting between Israel and, and Hamas continues. So, to does a, di <clears throat> a dire humanitarian crisis in the area. Um, at least 1,400 people have been killed in Israel, um, and the numbers keep climbing. Um, um, so on and so forth. The International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, uh, which suffered damage to one of its buildings in Gaza, <clears throat> is calling for the protection of aid workers, ci civilians, and critical infrastructure, calling for the 
um, situation of horrific doctors, uh, situation uh, horrific and doctors without borders, doctors without borders, uh, sand frontiers uh, is urging um, restraint after medical facilities have been destroyed in the fighting. Uh, Impact Your World has gathered a list of vetted organizations on the ground. In responding, you can support by clicking on the website. For more information, you can go to www.cnn.com forward slash world, how to help in the humanitarian effort. Again, that website is once again um, www.cnn.com um, forward slash world, forward slash again, how to help humanitarian efforts in Israel and Gaza. Uh, because um, even though... Uh, even though we have family in Israel and we support Israel, it is not fair that both sides are <clears throat> are uh, getting hurt. People are dying. Um, we really need to send um, humanitarian efforts. Uh, human we need to send food. We need to send clothes. We need to send supplies. Uh, for more information on sending supplies, you can go to www.americanredcross.org. That website, once again, is www.americanredcross.org. And for more information on uh, sending um, supplies to Israel also, you can go to uh, www. Morgan David Adam dot org. That's uh, Morgan David Adam A D O M dot uh, dot org. Morgan David is a, a like I mentioned in the last uh, show <clears throat> for um, for uh, with uh, David Wecker a couple weeks ago uh, on um, on Israel. Uh, Morgan David Adam is a uh, situation where, uh, where uh, you can go to Israel and um, or log on and send supplies. Supplies such as food, such as clothes, such as uh, shoes, boots, socks, things like that that people need. Um, uh, don't send um, bullets do not send um, uh, anything harmful through the mail. Um, that is not a good thing to send during this time. We want to send care packages, not uh, not any more um, uh, things that will harm people. Um, and please check with your local post office on how to send uh, something through the mail, uh, especially a care package. Uh, you're not allowed to send any aerosol cans, um, send toothpaste, toothbrushes, anything like that that uh, can um, can help. And, and there is an organization that does help during this time. Okay. Uh, there's uh, an organization called um, Samaritan's Purse. Samaritan's Purse is an organization that is, so, so, uh, that is responding to Israel's um, situation right now. Uh, it's called Samaritan's Purse. Yes, it is a Christian organization, but you know everybody is um, helping right now. And we really need to send um, things to help people. So um, it, if um, you need to send food, clothes, anybody uh, that is hurting right now, family members, uh, you can send it through here. So the website is Samaritan's Purse International Relief, www.samaritanspurse.com. Dot org. 
That is www.samaritans, purse.org. Um, it is, it, it, and if you want more information on this organization and what they're doing for Israel, please, um, we must all help each other to make sure that people with, uh, even people with disabilities have food, clothes, and any other services that they may need at this time. Um, again, this is senseless killing that needs to stop. Um, we just need to come together, all of us, uh, for one common goal, and that is to save a life, not take a life. Um, and uh, if you would like to give also, um, um, if you would like to give anything for Israel in terms of food and clothes, uh, you can, uh, Chabad of Burlington is an organization, uh, is called um, Chabad, C-H-A-B-A-D um, dot org. So that's www dot Chabad dot org. Uh, www.habad, dot org. Chabad dot org is a Jewish organization that uh, accepts food and clothes during this time. Uh, they have an office in Burlington, um, Vermont. Just log on to the website and check it out. Um, um, again, um, this has been the second episode of the Israel conflict. Um, for more information, please uh, log on to www.orcamedia.net and um, please support Abled and On Air um, <clears throat> uh, with many of the topics that we ha have uh, done so far, um, especially um, things on the Israel war that's extremely important. Again, uh, for more information on anything that you have seen today, you can go, uh, once it airs, you can go to www.orcamedia.net. And um, uh, again, Samaritan's Purse is www.samaritanspurse.org. S-A-M-A-R-I-T-A-N, purse.org, and um, forward slash disaster relief response. Um, deployed to Israel. I'm Lawrence Seiler. We must love each other, not harm each other. I'm Lawrence Seiler. See you next time on the next edition of Able Den On Air. Um, let's bring everybody home safe and sound to their families. I'm Lawrence Seiler. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx, Abel on Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.
www.ace.com and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.